day, comrades. Today's session is introduction to stage combat. We will cover safety, angles, movements, nap, and four punches. I won't just explain how to do that, but I will also demonstrate. And for that, I invite a student in the second year, the Department of Theater Studies, Mernali. That was a good one. Good day, everyone. Are you ready to learn some moves? I'm sure they are. Even though we are creating an illusion of a believable fight, one must never forget that safety is number one priority. First, take off all rings, watch and bracelets. Nothing must be on your hands. Because if one of the combat partners makes a mistake and breaks the safe distance, these accessories can cut and scar. Second, after you finalize on your safe distance, please don't break it, don't get closer, or funny to say, move your face towards the fist. Once a student did that, after finalizing the safe distance, she moved towards your partner's fist, like this. Hi, Ankita. And the third, the difference between stage combat and a street fight is that in the choreography of a stage combat, you care about the partner and don't want to hurt them. That's why you don't put any power into your punch. You're doing the movement, but your arm is soft. If the safe distance is broken accidentally, the impact won't be that serious. We're going to work with four punches. Jab is a left straight punch. Cross is your straight power punch, usually with the right hand, unless you're lefty. Hook is both right and left. Uppercut is both left and right hand. An essential skill in the stage combat is reacting to receive punches. A person who receives and reacts to punches will be called the receiver. A receiver reacts to punches accordingly. Jab cross is a straight punch. A receiver must imagine her nose being punched and her head moving back. Hook is a punch to a jaw and head turns sides. Uppercut is a punch to a chin from below. But of course, if we stand in our side profile, we can't create the illusion of a real fight. Now Marinali is back uh, to you. Use her body for blocking. I've seen the distance between my fist and her face. Now it looks like she is receiving the punch. We have right angle, punch and reaction. But one more element is missing. A sound of punch. In movies, the sound effects are edited later. But in life, performance needs to be right here, right now. That's why we have naps. Use your hand on your upper chest in the collarbone area. Naps could be performed either by the puncher or by the receiver. Now we will show you how it's put together. We don't have to stay back to the audience all the time. We can and have to move. When you block the punches, they can be in the side profile. But uh, when punching, do a step, change the angle to block the view and create the illusion. That's it for today. You can practice these moves and add them to your plays to have some action. But always remember, safety is the priority. Before practicing stage combat, do a good body warm-up. More punches, slaps, kicks, throws, hair pulling, and knee kicks are coming up. In the meantime, 
you can check our stage combat showcase videos on Christ University YouTube channel. Cheers, comrades. Bye.